Hello everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to create a modern style logo design with this concept. This is simple, stylish, modern and uh, feminine uh, wear church logo design. So I'm going to create it. If you are going to start your own business or something related to that, then you can also use this logo design concept or the similar style logo design. Here I'm just giving you the tutorial by using that you can create uh, your your logo design in a simple steps so let's start now first of all what I'm going to do I'm creating a new document here and uh, simply taking I want to work start work on the tray part and uh, here what I'm going to do I'm simply taking this uh, rectangular tool from here and dragging a simple rectangular line or a stripe like this here so you can see how thin is this and now I am removing this stroke color from here and simply going to brushes library by pressing F5 and dragging this line to the brush library here and creating the art brush press OK use the colorization tints and shares and rest will remain same so I'm going to use this one and I'm uh, as it's been added so I have removed from here now I'm using this paintbrush tool from here and simply dragging like this here and uh, remove the fill color around it so you can see how the line is smooth and uh, with the high precision you can easily create it this see the thing that we are going to do you can also do it with the blob tool like this and you can also do it with the pen tool like this and you can also do this with the uh, uh, paint uh, previously we have used the paintbrush and now we can use this with the paint pan tool so you can easily create it something uh, like this okay so this is there are so many ways to create but i love the way to use in a form of brush so i that's why i created it and now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking it here and uh, creating a simple line like this so you can see how smooth is this the precision level I, I, I'm feeling that that the precision level with this style is uh, um, very appropriate that the design that we are going to create so now what I'm going to do I'm simply taking some lines from here like this so we are creating the branches here Okay, so now we have to look around if any line that are overlapped or showing this space that we have to fix it up. And now I think this one and this one as well. So here we have just created this one. And now what I'm going to do, I'm taking this polygon tool here with the eight sides so it's an octagon press ctrl c and now i'm simply taking it here like this and go into the window sorry effect and transform fucker and bloat here you can turn on the preview mode and increase the value to around 53 percent press ok so you have the flower like this now what we are going to do we are dragging this to into fill color and removing this stroke color from here reducing it down in size like this and now you can place it on all branches increase like this here so here you can simply place it now press ctrl and control F and take a copy of this or you can drag alt by using alter you can also do the same things okay here you can just make sure the things are not overlapping with each other and here you can simply do this take a copy of this and place it on all the branches like this a 
Okay, so now we have to work on this area, the right side. Want to adjust it, and you can do that, but it will not make any difference. So something like this. So we have created the design like this here, and now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going into the object here, expand appearance, and now reduce it down like here and here I'm, I want to reduce it further like this and now I am dragging it to the brush library and creating a pattern brush here press ok and now flip along and flip across and here you can use choose the colorization method the distance and shades and reduce it down a bit you can change it later too. So now I'm removing it from here and simply taking a circle from here like this, removing this fill color and keep this, this one here. So it will be looking like this. Now you can come over here again and here you can increase it just like this if you want and uh, if i remove this from here flip along and i want to keep it flip along and one more thing that i want to do with this press the key okay now what we have to do we are creating copy of this Increase the size. Now, now you can simply align it in the middle like this. Control C, Control F again. And you can simply take another copy of this and align it like this. Now here, one more thing I want to do. I want to transform and reflect it to the vertical. So you can see here, if you want, you can create some more spacing in between, or if you want to fill it, then it's all up to you. Now I want to reduce it down like this. And here, I want to do one more thing before doing this. Object, you can go and realign edit and redo. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going into the object here, expand the appearance of this design and simply reducing it down like this. So you can place it and here you can write the business name that was uh, Olivia James. I want to write this one. Here you can increase it, the font size, and now I'm using the font that is infinite the stroke. You can download it from the, the font.com. I have taken this font from there and I'm going to place it. And here I want to convert into the white color. But before that, make sure you have select the layer and now I want to convert it into a stroke and here removing this fill color so it would be looking like this and here you can simply align it in the middle and it below you can write tagline or the business type so here I want to use it Calibri default font a lighter version and here you can choose the character spacing around 300 points increase the size like this 
now you can change the color as well so here you can place it convert it into outlines and now you can keep it in the middle so this is the simple style vintage uh, look uh, or uh, logo design very easy way to create it and you can easily design it for your logo as well so if you have any question in this regard and uh, you have any query to create this sort of logo design then you can easily ask me i will come back to you uh, to, um, to provide you the solutions thank you so much for watching my tutorial if you like it then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye